Get in here a second. Rachel today? I think I'm gonna have to go give her a physical later. Take a look at these tests. I mean those Sean. tits. What is this? This is a guy who came in here two weeks ago complaining of itching. No rash, no symptoms, nothing. I, I took some tests, prescribed some cream, and sent him on his way. Check for parasites. I ran a number of tests. That's what you're looking at here. I know what I'm looking at. This doesn't make any sense. The patient is dead. But he wasn't, even though all of the tests say otherwise. We ran the white blood cell count. He has none. We ran a CT scan to see if it might be psychological. His brain activity is null. But on Wednesday, March 18th, he came in here and spoke to me. I think you made a mistake. Go check your equipment. Oh, come on, John. What does this mean? I'm going to get lunch. Don't freak me out like that. I think we might have a Nobel case study on our hands here. We've got to get this guy back in here. hernias, vitamin deficiency, vent peritonitis, wing hematomas, and blindness. Where birds are forced to live in filth and extreme confinement. In an attempt to minimize costs and maximize profit, even the sickest of hens are denied veterinary care. At Buckeye and Daylight, investigators... Hey Dwayne, we're going to lunch. Want to come with us? And sinus infections. Mechanical feather damage, no, I'm not really pasturella, paralysis, hernias, right. vitamin deficiency, See you. vent peritonitis, wing hematomas, and blindness. Human Resources, Dwayne speaking. Good morning. Is this Mr. Dwayne Williams? Yes. Mr. Williams, this is Dr. Jenkins. You came in last week to see me about some itching. I prescribed an E45 cream. I was wondering how that was working out for you. Well, to be honest with you, I was using it four times a day, like you said, and it was just, well, nothing happened. It was just kind of messy. So I upped it to six, and still nothing. I just ran out of it today, and nothing has changed. Mm. Yes, I, I was afraid of that. Listen, it looks like we're going to have to run a few more tests. I may have to prescribe something else. Would you be able to come down later on this evening? I work until 5. Well, that's perfect. We'll be here. I'll be here. All right. Thanks. Come in, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. This is Dr. John Randall. He's an associate of mine. I've asked to come and assist me with your case. My case? Yes, Dwayne. It really is an extraordinary thing happening here. I wanted to ask you about my nails. They kind of... Am I all right? No, Dwayne. You're not all right. You're not even dying. You're dead. It appears, Mr. Williams, as if your entire body is shutting down. There's nothing happening inside of your flesh. All of your internal organs have ceased to function. That you're sitting here talking to us is a mystery to me. I'm dead? Are you serious? We're quite serious, Mr. Williams. 
dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Williams. It's just we've got all these test results showing that um, you cannot be a normal human being, and we just don't know, Plum, how to deal with that. This can't be right. It's quite right, Mr. Williams. Your body has shut down. Somehow your brain continues to function. The itching, we think, is some sort of cellular decay. What is it now? Two weeks of itching? Long enough for the worms to be getting at you? When was the last time you went to the bathroom? I don't know. You don't know? I don't remember. How is your appetite? I just feel full all the time. This can't be real. Come on, please, this has to be a trick. Feel my pulse, Mr. Williams. Now feel your lack of pulse. This can't be happening. What are you doing to me? Please! People are doctors from all over the world who have come here to see what you have to offer the medical community. Offer? I'm not a guinea pig. Dear doctors, as you can see, the patient's vital signs are non-existent, while his communication and motor skills are just below normal. But how's that possible? I'm right here. Your problem, Mr. Williams, is not so much that you are dead, but that you lack a life. There was nothing to live for, so your body simply shut down. Made the decision for you. Involuntary suicide, if you will. How is that possible? Are you saying my body has a life of its own? Of course, Mr. Williams. Your basic consciousness, time-space awareness, all just below normal. Tell me, Mr. Williams, what were you doing just before the symptoms started? Where do you work? I'm in human resources. Employment, hire, fire, that kind of thing. Exciting work? Sure. No. No, not really. Girlfriend? What do you do with your leisure time, Mr. Williams? Relax. I watch reality television. Barely existed, it sounds like. Now, Mr. Williams, the fact of the matter is, is that you are now legally dead. We have drawn up your death certificate, your apartment has been emptied into a storage shed, and your dog is in a kennel. What? My dog? Frankie? I can't do that. Dear doctors, I would like to present the hypothesis that this man, while dead, is still able to work. The basic machinery, if you will, is still functioning. And due to his lack of will to live and lack of legal status, we can keep him here until he simply fades away. Anything else, Mr. Williams? 